Sup gamers, welcome back to more Sonic Colors. I'm Silver Orpheus, and last time we cleared out Planet Wisp, taking out our first repeat boss fight, and uh, that certainly brought up a complaint, didn't it? Well, today we're going to take things to the Aquarium Park, and I'm just going to go ahead and sit here. You may realize by looking at this place that there are no new wisps here. But the Aquarium Park is less about new things, and more about refining old. But you know what? I love this map theme, so I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and let you guys listen to it. This is probably gonna be the music episode of today, because... This is certainly one of my favorite worlds in general, and the music is definitely the big reason as to why. So yeah, that's Aquarium Park's map theme. However, that is only just the beginning. Let's hop into Act 1 and see where the music really picks up. So yeah, that's Aquarium Park. That is, this is probably my favorite stage theme in the entire game. Which is funny considering the fact that, um, this is a water level in a Sonic game. So you know what that means? It's generally gonna be really terrible and uh, not one of the more fun ones. Also, I should've just saved my laser wisp right there. Uh, not so with Aquarium Park. Also, we have ourselves our new bad nicks. We have crab beats here. Um, glad to see that they're back. Uh, gonna nab ourselves another laser. So, remember when I said that Aquarium Park was mostly gonna be about refining older techniques and older color powers? This is what I mean. We can use the yellow drill underwater. With this, you can actually use the drill power up a bit more liberally. You will not die when the wisp power runs out underwater. So, that is so that's really good to know. You can destroy enemies underwater with it. And more or less it's the same old wisp from before. Anyway, another tip about underwater. In this game, Sonic can jump infinitely while underwater. So that's pretty useful. Boost and you can run on the water. Oh, God. Stomp down there. Get the drill. There. Oh, that was just cheap. Okay. So, yeah. Odds are you really should not drown here just because you have the ability to just jump underwater infin like infinite numbers of times. So, if that's the case, what's the bad part about this Sonic, uh, uh, this Sonic water level? Well... Just what you would expect. Not much. Probably the biggest complaint that I can think of about Aquarium Park comes not even in a level. Or well, actually, there is a level that I can actually say that I'm not particularly fond of in this place, but um, not many of them. 
Uh, we can't do anything up there because we don't have laser. Uh, we can't do anything there because we don't have laser. We have another boost part right here. Here, we just hold it on the boost button and launch that. Uh-oh. I'm going to be able to hit them. So I guess I'm just going to do that. Knock them over. You want to boost as fast as you can past here. And here's the goal ring. And I'm just going to go ahead and instead just build up some color bonuses. Just because, well, for one, I can do that. Two, the goal ring's within sight. Uh, three, I think that's a red ring up there. Yes, there is. It's the last one, too. Wow, I, did, I didn't even get much in this place. Uh, we're not gonna get any more in terms of the color width, in terms of the color power, so we'll just end it. Uh, here's probably my least favorite part about Aquarium Park, the results screen. You are entirely underwater, meaning you can just ruin your trajectory. Because you have basically no control. Oh, give me that. Oh, that was close. I almost missed it. Well, that was Act 1, so let's actually see what Act 2 has to bring us. And, uh... Funnily enough, despite this being the start of Aquarium Park, this is probably my least favorite act in the entire zone. Uh, you'll see why in a second. I say it's my least favorite act, but at the same time, it might not. Anyway, this place is giving me Tropical Resort Act 6 vibes, in which case we have these moving platforms, and we are also moving pretty slowly. We have a cube wisp here, so we at least have a color power to use this time around. Now the red ring. Now, we're, now that we're on the bottom path, we're gonna, we, need to move, we need to move a bit more quickly, because if the cube was wears out, we die. Um, there no, there's not another cube wisp down there. Alright, so we're missing that red ring. Whoa, I actually almost died there. Uh, moving this way. Jump up here. Am I... I think I'm dead. Okay, we're pretty much back, and I actually managed to get that bottom red ring this time. Uh, that was actually kind of a relief, because I actually screwed up on that blue wisp. Uh oh. Uh, do I actually need the blue wisp to move forward? No, I don't. Though I do need to come over here. So, you know what, I'm just going to hold on to this blue wisp, just because I can't get into a good position to use it. Uh, red ring here. This might be the third third okay so move over oh whoa 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 uh that's the fourth and the fifth is wait that's a pit down there what's under here nothing you know i just activate cube get a color bonus for nothing and that's it so yeah, that was Act 2. That wasn't one of my favorite levels, and we got a B rank for it. Eh, I guess not too shabby, I guess. Not my favorite either. Take the one up. We have 64 lives. Probably one of my favorite numbers right there. Act 3, we have the Rocket Wisp here. And this is another one of my favorite Tropical Resort Act themes. And the worst part is that we're spending the vast majority of this level underwater, because we have an entire field of spike balls over there that are not going to let us pass. So if you drown, odds are it'll probably be on this act. That's not going to help my case. Uh, yeah. Rocket! We're going to get another wisp. And we're now on the other side of the, t um, of the stage, and we can actually see what lies outside, so th that's actually pretty cool. Uh, avoid those. I think there's a red ring in one of the- Yep, there is! Get it! Perfect. That's the first red ring. Alright, moving right along. You drop down. Uh, checkpoint. More platforming. I don't think these platforms drop. No, they don't. Um, 
And we get another Rocket Wisp. No way out, so we're just going to go ahead and activate it. And come over and over here. Guide ourselves through the through this spike trap. And we get another red ring. Third one. Okay, so we actually missed one in this level. Not surprising. Well, that was probably the fourth one right there. Uh, this here requires a wisp that we don't, that we don't have yet. So we'll have to come back for this one. And I have a feeling there might be a red ring in one of these. Yep, that right there. That's the red ring. We cannot get it. Oh, whoa. Oh! Alright, head in here. Coming attack through these guys. And we're at the goal ring. Alright, so that was already Act 3. That wasn't too bad. Not one of our better scores either. Um, it's in the B. Yeah, we're not getting that life this time. And we got more red rings for Game Land. Okay. We're already getting more. Anyway. Act 4, we can use Drill and Laser here. Let's see what act, let's see what this one has to bring for us. Uh, what's behind me? Something that we can actually do. Uh, Drill Wisp. See what we can do with it. Oh, we get a laser. Jump up here, and fire. All right, we made it past there. Oh, that was close. Uh, booster here. Uh, watch the spike traps. These will send you straight into the spikes. Watch out. Uh, we're gonna have booster here. Uh, I probably could have went to the top path, and I ran out of boost power right before I was gonna hit the egg pond. That's just great. This is not really working out in my favor. So fine, I'll just do the boring old homing attack strategy. You know what? What's down here? I feel like there's something that I could do over here. You're kidding me. Red ring. Alright, activate drill. You can go back that way. Destroy all these guys. Here, and that's it. We're gonna walk along the water. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, laser. I can't hit it through the. That's lame. Alright, activate another laser wisp. Here. Activate. Activate a third laser. Stomp down. Watch the spike traps and don't run into them like an idiot. Uh, we can use spikes. Spikes. Uh, laser there. Oh. All right. Uh. Okay, here we got another laser wisp. Uh, what's over here? I don't think anything that we can use. Oh. These robots always pick the worst time to pop up. All right, here we can use laser. There we go. That's how you use the laser wisp. Yar, my matey. I like this. I like the Eggman PA systems, which I'm not sure if I ever brought it up, but um. I really do love them, and like my fondness on the music, this is probably my favorite place for them, because Eggman's just like, you're me matey, I'm a pirate. Oh, it's this level. Uh, uh, this asshole will constantly try and hit you. Why can't, why couldn't I jump? What? I'm restarting that, that was some bullshit. All right, now I'm back. All right, let's actually see if I can actually avoid this asshole this time. 
Why can't I avoid you? That's some BS. You avoid that from this side. Over here. What? You're kidding me! How do I jump? What? That's some horse shit. I am literally spamming jump. What is this horse shit? Hey, you know what? Fine, I'm gonna do it this way. I know you can jump. Avoid that. Thankfully, there's not many of these guys here, so that's a relief. Screw that. I lost two lives because of this stupid enemy. Jeez. That's probably going to cost me, like, that's probably going to cost me a good rank, too. Uh, A. That was an A performance? Well, at least I can make up two of the three lives I lost. That sucks. Like, for real. Well, anyway, that was Act 4. And next time on Sonic Colors, we're going to continue on through Aquarium Park and meet the boss. See you guys then.